Hello everyone, welcome to what if Goku was teleported to high school DXD part 2, Saiyan vs Phoenix. Goku stood outside with Shenron right on top of his head. Goku was hovering over a pond, he was meditating. Shenron you need to focus your power and unleash it in a giant burst. Goku. Shenron focus your anger and let it explode focus on Ria's and Riser, Akeno being hurt, your friends dying by the hands of Riser. Goku body kept trembling as his mind was filled with rage, but he wasn't going berserk. Goku ra. His aura bursted as the whole area got a huge gust of wind. The smoke cleared and out of it came out Goku with an incredible aura, but not the same aura when he went berserk. Goku whoa this power it's intense, but I'm having a hard time to hold this out. Shenron that's because you didn't transform. You used a technique called Kaiken. It multiplies your power, but it comes with a cost, the higher the boost the more it strains your body. So I recommend a 4 time multiplier should be enough for now. Goku let out a breath as the aura went away as he cursed at himself unable to unlock the power again. He didn't want it to disappoint Ria's again as he focused on her sad face, and for a split second, his eyes turned teal and back to black. The Keno Goku. Goku turned around as he saw Keno in a bathrobe this made him blush, but he brushed it away, and he walked up to her giving her a kiss. The Keno you will save her. I know you will. Goku smiled as he held her clothes and looked at the sky, and both gave a determined look telling themselves that Ria's will be saved. In the underworld, Ria's was alone in the Phoenix Palace as she couldn't stop herself on letting out a tear, as she remembered the word that Goku said before he was knocked out. Goku no. Ria's forgive me. I had no other choice. Three days later, Goku went to Issei's home to greet Asia as he saw both were dressed in really formal clothing. Goku where you lovebirds going this late? Issei we were invited to the Douch's wedding. Kiba told us the plan, so we're going to see you kick that jerk's ass. Goku smiled as everyone showed up in a teleportation circle and Goku everyone dressed up. Akeno say Goku do you like my dress? Goku smirked as he grabbed her waist and gave her a kiss with Issei, and almost everyone surprised they were together and kissing like that. Goku you know I love it. Anything you wear bring out your beauty and amazing personality. Akeno kissed his cheek before giving him the invitation as both nodded and they left to the engagement party. While well, Goku stood there holding the invitation and he saw Shenron walk in. Shenron give him hell. Goku nodded as he raised his hand, and the invitation glowed in his hand as he arrived in the front of the Palace of Phoenix. Guard stop your invitation. Goku didn't have any attention as he just pushed them away with his energy, and he started running towards the direction of Ria's and Riser's energy. Many guards tried to stop him, but Goku simply just took all of them out with one blow. Riser this is a historic moment for the world of devils, and I want our dear guests to be the first to know. Two great dynasty are about to become one. Lord Riser of the Distinguished House of Phoenix, shall wed Lady Ria's of the Illustrious House of Gremory. And now I present to you my bride. Ria's Gremory. Ria's teleported in, but the moment she appeared the doors broke down as everyone turned towards the door, and they saw Goku kicking the door down. Ria's Goku. Riser who do you think you are boy? Goku ladies and gentlemen I am tonight's entertainment. But before anything let's have a toast. Goku grabbed a glass of wine as he raised it. Goku to Ria's for finally having a family that believe in her no matter what. And to Riser. Who's gonna get his ass kicked by me a second time? Goku drank the wine and slammed down the glass as everyone gasped, and Riser got furious. Riser how dare you? Ravel seriously is this guy mental? Riser sees him. Many guards appeared in front of Goku, but they weren't a problem as Goku just pushed them back with a Kai. Goku enough games Riser you know exactly why I'm here. Plus you spoke so highly of yourself before, but you sound like you can defeat me. Then bring it on. Riser gritted his teeth as everyone was confused on why Goku was here. But someone showed up a man with what looked like armor, but he had the eyes and hair color of Rias. It was her brother the Devil King Lucifer. Riser what is the meaning of this? Lucifer I just made an arrangement for some entertainment tonight. Plus we never have parties like this every day. Boy I did a bit of research on you, and you are one of the last of your kind. You are a Saiyan. Everyone started to mutter silently to each other, but Goku didn't care since he already knew. Lucifer how about a full head-to-head -head battle? Riser I see Phoenix vs Saiyan. Pure blood vs mortal. Lucifer mortal. Riser do you not feel it my lord, he's not a devil he's just mortal. Goku ya yeah, because my power was too great for Rias to completely make me into a devil, but it doesn't mean you can underestimate me. Angel devil. Everyone gasped to the sound of a mix of devil and angel. Riser what do you speak of? Goku before the games you were afraid of my power, so you decided to increase your power by forcefully fusing with an angel. I felt it first and I didn't know what it was until I started focusing more on that power, and it sounded like it was screaming in agony and pain. You fused with an angel, that's why your regeneration is better than before. Lucifer didn't speak as he was angry Riser broke a devil law he still decided to say to have a battle. Ria's no please don't. Lucifer say in there are many who are interested in your abilities, but can you fight without losing control again? 
Goku I haven't been just sitting down these past four days. Lucifer what would you like if you won? Devils you can't be serious my lord. Lucifer quiet. I am the king and I've already spoke. Goku I want Rhea's Gremory to come back to us. She shouldn't marry someone she doesn't want to be with. That's why I'm here. I'm gonna be there for Rhea's and let her decide who she wants to marry. Rhea's eyes widened as she grew blush on her face. Lucifer smiled as he brought both of them to the battle area where everyone could see the fight. Lucifer now made the battle begin. Goku got in his stance ready for the fight as Riser stood there arrogantly smirking and laughing at Goku. Goku go. Goku flew towards Riser as he appeared in front of him but ducked under and delivered a kick to his face as he didn't stop there. Riser tried to block but was punched in the face with a hard left hook making crash on the ground. Goku that was for Kaneko. Goku blasted three Kai blast but looked up as he saw Riser in the sky. Riser it seems you have gotten powerful. Goku if you're done playing games then come and show me your power. Because I haven't pushed mine to its limits. Goku aura started to get darker and darker until it covered his whole body. It then burst into a giant dark red aura. Goku Kaiken. In a burst Goku appeared in front of Riser and delivered many hard blows to the devil's body as Goku ended the barrage with a hard blast to his stomach, pushing to the statue of a queen piece. Goku that was for Kiba. Riser broke out of the statue with most of his clothes fully destroyed. Riser you have gotten better mortal, but what about that golden beast form? Goku didn't speak, but Riser laughed understanding his silence. Riser so you can't do it on command. Which will make this less enjoyable, but enough for me to remember you by. Be honored you're going to be the first to see this form. Riser let out a scream as his body started to change as his body started to become like pure devil scales, his hair spiked up and he grew out two dark swords. Goku no way. The Keno Goku. He's changing. They say so if he used this in the game we wouldn't have stood a chance. Everyone was shocked to see the full power of angel devil. Goku his power. Goku his power. Riser ha ha ha. Yes you should fear for your life because Riser is going to show you no mercy. Riser rushed towards Goku trying to deliver a strong attack on the ground, but Goku dodged as he flew to the sky still shocked of his power. But from his left came Riser as he grabbed his face and started dragging him through the floor before throwing him into a pillar, but Goku was then kneed in his stomach. Goku, cough, he's strong. I didn't expect this much power. Riser punched him down on the floor as Goku crashed on the ground. Akeno and the others were more shocked to see this power of Riser. Even Lucifer didn't expect that much power of a pure angel and devil combined. Goku bursted out of the ground panting, but Riser didn't move he just stood in the sky, putting his swords away as he smirked. Goku powered up to his Kaiken again and rushed towards Riser, but he didn't even move as Riser turned to his right and punched Goku as he was about to attack. Pushing him down, he powered up again and trying again, but this time Riser quickly disappeared and reappeared attacking Goku by elbowing him down to the ground. Goku crashed as he stood up and coughed out blood. Goku damn it. Goku fell on one knee as Rias and Akeno started crying, Issei, and Asia couldn't believe the horror they were watching. Kiba and Kaneko clenched their fist angry they couldn't go and help him. Riser time for Riser to end this. He slowly got a giant flame that covered almost one fourth of the arena. Rias and Akeno screamed for mercy even Lucifer was about to intervene, but Grafia stopped him. He threw the flame as Goku got up slowly as he tried his best to push back the attack, but he was losing his ground. He couldn't push back anymore as he closed his eyes and said one thing. Goku, I'm sorry. The flame consumed him whole as everyone saw a giant explosion with Riser laughing out loud. Even Sona clenched her fist in hatred for Riser, and she even lowered her head as a sign of grief for Goku. Ravel it was obvious that Riser was gonna win. Now he's dead. The flames kept decreasing down to the ground as it exploded. Riz Akeno Goku. A giant burst of blue energy burst from the flames. Everyone was shocked as this power started shaking both the realm where Goku and Riser were fighting and the entire underworld. From the room Milika's came running to his mother Grafia and his father Lucifer. Milika's mother what is that trembling? Grafia nothing to worry just watch. He looked up and everyone was shocked to see Goku walk out of the flames completely harmless and his hair was slightly spiked up. Riser what is this? How are you still alive? Goku didn't speak as the burst died down as well as the tremors. He opened his eyes and they turned from his normal black colored eyes to a silver gray. Goku let's begin the real fight. Goku slowly walked as Riser created light spears and threw them towards Goku who dodged all the attacks and even caught one of the spears as he crushed it and kept walking towards him. Riser flew towards him as he went for a kick, but Goku dodged it and delivered a punch to his face and Riser couldn't even react fast enough to dodge. It was light speed ahead. Goku was now something different. Goku kept walking as he stopped and saw Riser break out of the pillar. Bleeding. He grew more angry as he flew towards Goku and tried again, but Goku again dodged every attack and delivered a strong punch towards Riser's stomach and kicked him away. 
Riser crashed on the floor appearing to be stuck on the ground. Here he is he's winning. Please Goku ended. Riser broke out the floor and wiped his face to see the blood that Goku brought out. Riser no this can't be happening. I am the superior and divine being. Goku calling yourself a god is too far fetched you're more of a bootleg full an angel. Riser grew more furious, but he stopped himself and started raising his arm to the sky and started shouting. Riser light of flame strike me. A weak devil incapable of wiping out scum is worthless. Lighting made of flames covered his arm, then started to cover his body as his body started to grow and change. The whole area was shaking, but Goku stood there not intimidated the least. Well everyone was horrified of the sight they saw. Riser body was now more bigger as his body was a red colored and his eyes were shining yellow. Goku got on his stance not worried of the what he was gonna fight. Goku got on his stance not worried of the what he was gonna fight. Riser laughed as he landed on the ground believing he's much more powerful than Goku. Both were ready to put this to the test. Goku this new power is insane, but I'm not sure how long it will last. I should end this now. Riser went for a strike as Goku dodged and he blocked an attack from Riser. Both were now clashing at fast speed, but Goku was still faster as he kicked and elbowed Riser to the ground. Riser quickly got up and flew towards Goku, but only punched nothing as he saw the image of Goku disappear. He looked around the area and he couldn't find anything. Until he was shot from the back. He turned around and saw Goku just standing there with a small smirk on his face. Secretly he was enjoying the moment to humiliate Riser. Goku come on is that all you got? Riser flew towards him as Goku dodged another blow, but Riser was able to kick him away and tried another blow, destroying the pillar of the king. Goku dodged the shockwave as he flew towards him trying to land many kicks, but were blocked as he took this opportunity to kick his head forwards as he grabbed Riser's face and slammed him towards the ground. Goku what's wrong your divine power's not looking so wondrous now. Riser bastard. He forced an explosion of flames, but Goku again dodged, but something was wrong, his eyes shined back to black for a moment, then back to silver. Goku damn. I was right this power is almost about to be completely gone. Riser appeared in front of him as Goku decided enough games as he need Riser right in his jaw. Goku then covered his entire arm with the aura as he punched him in the stomach as Riser spat out a huge amount of blood and was pushed far away. Everyone was still surprised of the power of Goku. The smoke started to clear as something came out and Goku jumped towards it as he grabbed with what looked like a man with white-like armor and white hair. Goku it worked. Hey Lucifer take this guy out of here and take him back to heaven. He threw the angel as Lucifer teleported him away, and now Riser was back to his original human form. Goku started walking towards Riser with his hand filled with energy. Goku I wish it wouldn't end like this, but you caused this. Ravel please don't hurt him. Ravel stood in front of Riser as Goku pointed his hand out. With the same glare and this glare made Ravel blush. Goku consider this mercy Riser. Goku consider this mercy Riser. I never want to see your face again. Goku powered down as his eyes and hair were back to normal. He started flying away, but Riser just felt more angry and humiliated, and Ravel noticed this. Ravel no don't. Riser die and be nothing. He shot a giant blast of fire, and Goku noticed the fire was he got furious, and for a moment went to a kick in time 6. Goku you fool. He shot his blast countering Riser's, and soon the blast started to overpower his, and Ravel jumped out the way as Riser let out a scream of fear, and the blast soon consumed him, and it exploded the moment it consumed his entire body. Goku looked at the destroyed area with a sad expression seeing he hoped Riser took the opportunity but failed to accept. Goku landed right behind Ravel as he put his hand on her shoulder and apologized for killing his brother, but he had no other choice. Ravel I'm sorry and I hope this doesn't bring any bad blood between you and my family. Goku no worries. I'll be glad to meet the rest of your family. Goku smiled and Ravel again blushed as she turned around and the area started to collapse as Lucifer announced Goku as the winner. Goku then flew up in the sky as he was met with a giant hug from both Akeno and Ria's, then the others hugged him. Ria's you saved me Goku thank you. Goku smiled as he grabbed Ria's hands and held them tightly. Goku family never separates. Lucifer congrats on winning. Goku Lord Lucifer you shouldn't give your family up because of a cause you think it's right. Talk with your family and come to an agreement or if they disagree then respect their wishes. Lucifer I understand and apologies again for making you do this Ria's. Ria's it's okay. I got to see Goku at full power and it was pretty amazing. Akeno summoned a griffin and told Goku and Ria's to head back to the orc. Goku picked up Ria's bridal style and jumped on the griffin as Akeno told them to not have too much fun and Goku just rolled his eyes and winked. Goku I'll see you guys there. Both were now flying high in the sky as Ria's just kept looking at the sky and she smiled as she turned around to Goku. Ria's thank you Goku I am so happy. You risked your life for me. Goku I do anything if it meant getting you back to us. To me.
Rias instantly got closer as she kissed Goku on his lips, and Goku was shocked at first, but he then went with the kiss. Rias a gift for my knight in shining armor. It was my first kiss. Goku whoa. A great kiss. Both smiled as they made it to Goku's house but what he didn't know was that Rias decided to live in Goku's house. To his surprise but he didn't mind. Now a new chapter in their life will begin and it's gonna be fun and strange. Kiba, it has been great the past two weeks, Akeno and me have been getting much closer in our relationship, and I like her, but we aren't officially dating. Rias does get jealous sometimes, but she gets satisfied when I give her hugs when she cooks dinner. It's a lot of work when both girls you know and like make you food and dessert. But right now I was training outside my home trying to master Super Saiyan. Shenron now again. Goku ha. Shenron not bad you've gotten a better handle to the form and the transformation. It's a good start so let's keep going, try hold the form much longer this time. Goku what's the record again? Shenron opened a book and turned a few pages as he reached the record. Shenron 13 hours. Goku a whole day is the challenge. So any jobs that we have. Shenron just another contract and joining the others to Issei's house for a meeting. Goku why are we doing that again? Shenron apparently the orc is being cleaned up, so they agreed Issei's house. Goku kept doing a few stretches as he stopped and looked at the city that he could see far away from the hills. Goku well any new energy that energy it feels. Shenron yes it feels slightly like divine energy. But it's not pure god energy, but more like a demigods or even lower than that, but do be careful they may be good in the eyes of the world, but they are dangerous to the rest of your friends. Goku strange. These past two weeks we have not even heard or felt anything that could be the warriors you told me about a while ago. Shenron they'll come when the time is right. Goku nodded as he changed into his casual clothing and went to school, and it was a pretty boring day, but he did notice that Issei and Akeno were in the orc, and something in him just snapped for a second. He knew Issei had a backup plan against Riser, but he never knew it would have to have Akeno suck out the dragon energy from his left arm. Goku this is really frustrating why do I feel slightly angry and annoyed that Akeno is doing this favor for Issei. I know he's a pervert, but man it really ticks me in the bad way. Teacher Goku. Goku huh? Yeah. She pointed at the board and I look at my notes and go up on the board and write the answer to the equation. Teacher I know you're smart but still focus in class young man. Goku yes sorry. Goku walked out the hallway and he still had the annoying feeling just by thinking of the same made him slightly angry, but it stopped when he saw Asia, Kaneko and Kiba together. Goku yo guys. You ready for lunch. They nodded and all four of them went to lunch and Issei made it in time for lunch as well as Akeno as she got behind Goku. Akeno guess who? Goku let me guess black hair and beautiful lustful eyes. Goku grabbed her hands and turned around as both laughed, and all the jealousy went away as both ate and talked. Goku told Akeno some jokes with her laughing, and all he could think about was her smile. Soon after school he waited for her to meet him outside, as both walked to Issei's house with a smile. Rias told everyone their contracts amount as Akeno had 11, Kaneko had 10, Kiba had 8 contracts, Asia and Goku had 3, while Issei still had none. Goku man contracts really are hard to finish, but man do they make you do weird stuff. Issei's mother came in and gave a batch of cookies to the group and brought the photo album of Issei. As the girls were laughing at Issei some of the pictures and some thought it was cute. Goku she seems like a wonderful mother. Issei like you know. Goku it must be nice to have the kindness of a mother. Issei you don't have one. Goku not really. I've only known my adopted dad for two years, but I've never met nor can I remember my real parents. But I try not to worry about it. The Bahay Issei this picture. He pointed at a picture of Issei and another child, but he wasn't looking at the children. Kiba's eyes were directed to the sword in the photo. But the moment his aura changed it went back to normal. Kiba thanks great pictures man. Goku you noticed it. Shenron yes. The day passed as Goku couldn't get the feeling of what he felt from Kiba, but he then got a call from Rias and Akeno to meet an abandoned area in a warehouse. Goku put two of his fingers in his head as he focused on Akeno or Rhea's energy and used his instant transmission technique as he appeared seconds right beside them. Goku hey. Akeno you scared me, but maybe I should get closer for C-O-M-F-O-R-T. Goku just gave a small chuckle, but he felt the energy in the warehouse it was bad, but nothing the others couldn't handle, and everyone arrived, but Kiba was still in his thoughts. Rhea's Kiba. Kiba yes got it. An echo, Issei and Kiba went in to face the monster, and Goku stayed outside not really gonna intervene. However inside the cause of his mind being somewhere else Kiba caused Kaneko to get hurt and got attacked, but before the stray could attack Kiba, Kaneko grabbed it from its arm and threw it out the window as Akeno and Rias finished off the stray. However Kiba's unusual behavior didn't go unnoticed by Rias as she slapped him hoping he would finally come to his senses. Kiba however still had the scowl as he walked away, but Goku slowly followed behind. Goku Kiba. I don't know what's going on, but I made a promise we were there for each other. Goku hid his presence as he followed Kiba from the shadows. 
Briaz went with Issei in Asia to his house explained about the Holy Sword project, even speaking of Excalibur, and how Kiba was the only survivor of the project. Goku again felt the energies from earlier, but one energy got his attention from the direction of Kiba. Freed you who. It's great to see you again pretty boy. Kiba freed. Freed you remembered me. I'm glad now I can cut that pretty face with my new friend. Excalibur. Having a little too much fun aren't you freed? Freed come on. At least let me slice him open. Kiba who are you? The man removed his hood as it was Turles. Kiba Goku. Turles wrong. My name is Turles. The one you call Goku his real name is Kakarot. Goku no my name is Goku. Turles it's good to know you're stronger because the last fight was boring, how about you try to make me use my full power. Goku powered up to his max as he got in his stance, as all four fighters were in a standoff as both Turles and Goku took to the sky and began their battle. Tiba and Freed were fighting, but Freed easily overpowered Kona's sword, even cutting his arm. Freed was about to finish off Kiba but was ordered to leave. Kiba held his arm in pain, but he still saw the fight against Goku and Turles. Goku in Super Saiyan was even stronger and thanks to his training and battle with Riser. His previous power the last time is nothing to what it was before. Goku punches Turles right in his jaw continuing with a gut punch and punching him again on his face. Turles tried to kick from Goku's right side, but Goku just blocked it and slammed Turles down on the ground. Turles so you have gotten stronger, but can you take this? He blasted Goku directly as he started laughing believing he defeated Goku. However out of the smoke Goku came in as he slammed his fist right through Turles' stomach. His eyes widened as he slowly closed them and fell back on the ground lifeless. Goku scum Kiba. Oh my goodness are you alright? Kiba nodded still being as silent, but Goku wasn't having it. Goku look I may not know what's going on, but you can tell me what's wrong. Kiba looked at the ground as Goku didn't let up, he grabbed him by his collar, giving him a worried stare. Kiba soon started to explain his past and reason why he became a devil, as Goku understood him as both went back to his house, so he could at least sleep as Goku had Shenron have a close eye on Kiba. Unknown, Thrill seems to be dead. He's getting stronger, but we'll wait until he decides to join the fight. Friend or foe. Kiba had just gotten up and saw Goku getting dressed for school, he was thinking of skipping, but thanks to Goku he decided to go or Goku would just force him to go. Goku walked to school with Kiba who again was gone in his own world, as he just made sure he had Shenron keep an eye on him and not leave the school. Throughout the day Goku did his normal routine of keeping up with his school work, however he felt the energies from yesterday. During gym class Goku was getting ready for the normal exercises as he stretched his arms and leg, but the energy was much closer as he looked around and the energy got to a girl with blonde hair and glasses. She was playing basketball with the other girls and both her and Goku made eye contact. It was a long and silent, but after a few seconds they separated and continued with their class. Goku would then realize that Kiba never went to the orc building, but he decided to leave a message for Goku. Shenron he left a message for you. Goku I thank you for the help yesterday, but I'm fine now please don't try to follow. Goku arrived to the orc as he noticed Sona and Tsubaki were there as both Akeno and Ria's left, and Goku decided to keep training his transformation, but Shenron entered his mind. Shenron you seem to be stressed with everything going on. Goku because I am, nothing is making sense for me. The three energy signatures that I think are from the church, Kiba, and my training. I can't focus on everything. Shenron then hold back on the training for now. You've already mastered Super Saiyan if you haven't noticed. Goku then looked at his reflection and saw that he was in Super Saiyan the whole time without any strain. He smiled as he decided to go home and rest. The next day Goku walked in the orc to see three girls wearing white robes, but the difference between them was that one had blue hair, another with long brown hair, and the other girl was the only one he recognized. Goku Minako Sunate. Minako turned to her side as she got up and walked towards Goku. Minako it's good to see you Goku. Goku what are you doing here of all place? Riaz you seem to know each other. Goku not much, but we have a few classes together. I didn't expect you to be part of the church. Before she could speak the two other girls interrupted her by introducing themselves. Zenobia my name is Zenobia. Arena and I'm Arena Shido. Goku nice to meet you. But why are you here? Zenobia I know it's strange, but there are six swords that are accounted for however, three of them were stolen by fallen angels. This shocked them as all three of them showed their weapons and told Riaz to not get involved between their missions, as Riaz agreed to the terms, but they didn't stop there. They noticed Asia, but Minako didn't speak she just looked at Goku, as both kept staring at each other, more like they were trying to intimidate each other. Fibo I'll take all of you on. Everyone turned around and saw Kiba standing by the door. Zenobia who are you? Kiba your superior. Nice to meet you. Ria's Kiba. Everyone went outside to watch three different battles as Goku changed into his guy and saw Minako holding her sword ready for battle. Minako you know I couldn't tell if you were a demon before, but now that I see your true nature it's proof that I have to destroy you. Goku if you think you can then come and prove it. 
Minako smiled as she got in her battle stance, and Goku just stood there not even letting out his aura. Makendo do you think this is okay? Zenobia consider this a drill. No killing. Minako rushed towards Goku ready to attack him even shocking the others on seeing Goku not even dodging. Minako why didn't you dodge? Goku I search your feelings so I knew you would stop. Minako smiled, but she also quickly dodged out the way when she saw Zenobia thrust her sword to the ground. Goku didn't even move, but it was his mistake when he saw Issei jumping towards him when he touched his chest and shoulder. Goku oh no. Issei fingers accidentally snapped, and instantly his clothes were torn apart as the girl saw him naked. But for Issei it was a big mistake. Goku you little piece of shit. Goku quickly went behind a tree as he put on his normal clothes and knocked out Issei, but he also noticed when Kiba was down from one blow. They were both down, but Goku was not satisfied. Zenobi are you satisfied? Goku not yet. I'm still the main threat to you so how about the three of you fight me at the same time? Zenovia do you believe you can take on three holy swords? Goku smirked as he didn't say a word he just powered up and this force shocked everyone on how strong he was now. Goku come at me any way you want. All three girls looked at each other as they nodded and rushed towards Goku, who dodged a slice from Zenovia and a ducked under a swing from Arena and backflipped when he noticed Minako coming in with a swing. Zenovia his skills are amazing. Arena I'll say I thought muscles made you slower, but then again God could be testing us by having us see a handsome devil naked. Goku oh you guys don't know huh? He looked at Ria's who smiled as he smiled when he got her approval as he dodged another few swings, but he grabbed Zenovia's sword, which shocked the three church servants. Zenovia impossible no devil should be able to hold out a holy sword. What are you? Goku I'm not a devil but something stronger. Goku pushed her back as he powered down and even dropping from Super Saiyan. Suddenly he felt a small boost in power, but it quickly went away. He smiled as they knew the fight was over. Goku I think I'm satisfied enough, we understand your problem we won't interfere. Riaz may I ask would you mind telling me who's collecting these pieces? Zenovia Kakabiel. Riaz are you trying to die? Goku who's this Kakabiel? The Kendo leader class fallen angel. Goku if he's a leader class then you three don't stand a chance. Arena we know it's a gamble we had a casualty, a priest who came to this town was killed. Fibba we know who it was. Goku freed cells and then Turles. The rest were shocked of the name mostly Issei in Asia, but Turles is what got them. Goku after a battle only one escaped as I killed Turles, but Freed escaped, but he had a holy sword in his hand. Zenobia thank you for the information but don't interfere anymore. Kiba gave a scowl, and Goku and Minako nodded and separated away with a kennel looking away feeling bothered of Minako. Throughout the day everyone was quiet however Kiba decided to leave the orc making him become a stray, but Goku knew that he had to let him be, plus he made sure Shenron would protect him and inform him when he's in danger and location. Goku on the other hand took a rest as he entered his mind and wondered what was the feeling he felt when he grabbed the holy sword. Issei, Asia and Kaneko left as Akeno and Riaz were there in the orc and they sat down next to Goku, who just opened his eyes and yawned. Suddenly a giant burst of power bursted out of Goku as he started screaming in pain as Riaz and Akeno were pushed back all the way to the walls and they kept being pushed like they were being forced on the wall. Goku just kept screaming as the electricity went from blue to yellow and then it turned dark purple as his pupils were gone and he kept screaming. Goku just kept screaming as the electricity went from blue to yellow and then it turned dark purple as his pupils were gone and he kept screaming. Akeno Goku. Goku started to see something or someone, it wasn't clear, but then it became clear as crystal, but who he saw wasn't someone he didn't know it was actually someone he knew. Himself. In different forms and a giant ape roaring at him. Instantly after he saw that, the power disappeared and he fell unconscious as Akeno and Riaz went up to him and held him close to them. Not caring if the power returns, they just wanted to hold Goku so he would feel safe. But they weren't ready for what was coming. Accurate. I'm sorry, Goku woke up seeing Riaz and Akeno holding him sleeping both naked as he blushed, but he then remembered the vision, it scared him, but he decided to get out of bed, he made both of them breakfast, and he decided to skip school, as he stayed in the center of the orc and started meditating. Inside his mind he kept thinking of the powers he felt, it was dangerous yet calm, another was pure chaos, one felt the exactly same like the holy sword, the other was the same power when he fought Riser, but another was pure rage with control. Goku just decided to continue his training with Super Saiyan, as he felt like he could push the power to another limit. Shenron appeared in front of him in his true form inside his mind. Goku what was that? Shenron your past are probably different futures. I'm not sure, but right now it means your progress to get back all your power completely is good. I didn't expect the outburst of power, but it could be something else we don't know. Goku nodded as he returned to the normal world and just did pulls up for the rest of the time. Akeno was the first to wake up as she tried to look for Goku, but she stopped when she saw him shirtless and doing pull-ups. 
The Ken oh my my you already started without Emmy. Goku smiled as he got down and turned around. He walked towards Akeno as he caressed her face and removed the hair from her ears as he held her from her face and his other hand on her waist. Goku maybe it's time for some sparring of our own. She hugged him, but secretly something was starting to bother her and he did notice but didn't pursue it until she was ready to talk. Goku I made some breakfast. Wake up Ria's and I'll see you both later. Akeno you're leaving. Goku I have to make sure the others are okay. I'll be back don't worry. Goku kissed her as both didn't separate for a few minutes, but then he separated as both took a breath and he left the orc in his guy and covered himself with a coat. He winked at Akeno as he flew out and stood outside of the orc. Akeno stood there placing her hand on her heart area as she smiled. Akeno I think I'm in love. Goku was checking on Issei and Kaneko since he felt both of them being together eating lunch. Goku hey guys. Issei Goku just the man we needed. Goku what's going on? Kaneko Issei wants to join the three church girls to destroy the Excalibur sword. Goku was silent, but he nodded as they explained the plan, and they even recruited Genshiro Saji. But he just kept whining mostly because he was afraid of Sona. Issei all we need is to find them. Goku they're three blocks away and they haven't moved. Let's go. Kaneko how? Goku I can sense their location, so how about let's pay them a visit shall we? They walked in the shopping center area of the city and saw all three of them asking for money. Mostly speaking like sparing some change can give you a blessing from God. Goku well that's creative. They invited all three of them some dinner without question all three said yes and ate a bunch breakfast, lunch and dinner. Goku couldn't just sit there and watch them eat as he ordered some food and now it was a four-way food massacre. They say geez Goku how can you eat more than these three? Goku sorry it's just, gulp what can I say? I love to eat. Arena finished her food and just was in awe at the hunger of Goku as she just watched with Minako nudging her to stop looking. Zenobia so what did you want to talk about? They say we want to help you destroy Excalibur. Zenobia I see. Fine you may help by taking care of one sword. Arena Zenobia are you sure? Zenobia it makes it much easier. Goku smiled as he saw Minako as she was crying no one but him noticed. Goku hey Minako can we talk in private? Minako quickly dried her eyes as she nodded and this got the attention of Arena since her and Minako were the only ones to get along as Zenobia was pretty blunt and cold. They walked outside as Goku walked to an alley where no one could hear them or find them. Goku what's wrong? Minako didn't say anything as she hugged Goku and this caught him off guard as she kept crying and he slowly started to get lower to the ground as both were on their knees and after they separated Minako looked at him right in his eyes. Minako the holy swords are not a gift from the church. They are meant to be destroyed completely. Goku why? Something happened. Minako lifted her shirt enough to see a major scar right next to her stomach. Minako it took three months to heal, but Kiba wasn't the only one in that project. Goku didn't speak as he just tried his best to comfort her as he separated and looked at her right in the eyes. Goku will stop them and maybe your past can finally rest. She cried more for five more minutes and then both went back to the group as they asked Goku for the location of Kiba. After walking towards the location they found him and explained their plan to him. Kiba I get it, but I'm quite disappointed that someone who can wield an Excalibur would approve of their destruction. Zenobia speaking of disappointing. Didn't you abandon your place in the house of Gremory? Fiba glared at her as Goku noticed both of them getting ready for battle. Zenobia since you're astray now, we have full authorization to execute you. Fiba you're welcome to try. Goku alright enough. Look if we continue this pointless fighting we won't get anything done so let's calm down. Look Fiba like it or not we're going so there's no use of stopping us. So please stop trying to fight alone and let us help. It wouldn't make everyone feel better that we found you dead and we had the power to keep you alive. Fibba lowered his head as he then smiled, saying he agreed on helping the others. After they agreed to meet in the church as everyone put on priest clothing and covered the east. However during their search Goku started to feel a really intense power, but like with Turles, it quickly went away. Goku what the hell was that? Is that another enemy? Kaneko Goku are you alright? Goku oh yeah I'm just thinking where else we can search. Fibba suggested they search the same area where Goku and Issei fought the stray priest the first time they joined the orc. They headed in that direction as they stopped as they felt uneasy. They say wait something's wrong. Freed came out of nowhere and tried to land a slice on Kiba, but he blocked it with his sword. Freed I was gonna go find some priests, but five devils are here and this makes my day much better. Goku walked forward and pulled his arm out as he created an energy blade and started fighting Freed without warning. Goku today you pay for all the blood you shed. Both started fighting as Freed tried to nullify Goku's speed with the holy sword, but nothing happened. He even tried to slice Goku, but easily Goku quickly grabbed the sword as this shocked Freed. Freed impossible. No devil is able to hold a holy sword, much less stop it with his hands. Goku that's because I'm no devil. 
Boku kicked him away as the man known as Valper Galilei showed up as he told Freed how to use the Holy Sword as Kiba came in and tried his best to attack from behind, and Zenobia, Irina and Monaco showed up as Valper and Freed escaped however Goku noticed their energy signatures went to the woods with Zenobia, Kiba, Irina, and Monaco rushed towards them. Goku was about to head towards them, but a barrier was created in front of him. Are as you care to explain Goku? Goku turned around to see Akeno and Rhea standing there with Sona and her queen however the same intense and evil energy came back and Goku turned back to the direction as it was getting close to Arena and Minako. Quickly Goku broke the barrier and was about to enter the woods, but Rhea's yelled at him. Rhea's Goku you are still a member of the house of Gremory. I forbid you to leave. Goku lowered his head as he touched his chest and suddenly threw something to Rhea's as she caught it and opened her hand to see the night piece that she gave Goku. Her eyes widened, and it turned to an expression of shock and sadness. Goku, I'm sorry. The Keno was about to run towards him, but he was already gone as he kept running towards Minako to stop the threat. Rhea's Goku. Goku felt the energy as he asked Shenron to show him what was going on, and all three members of the church in Kiba were now in front of a new enemy. Accurate. Overflowing power. Goku used his instant transmission to find Kiba as he appeared next to him and saw the light blue purple haired man. He stopped powering up as he looked around and saw all three girls with their swords drawn at him, and his attention changed as he noticed Goku show up, and this made him even more furious. Kakarot Kakarot. Goku Kakarot. That's the guy who I met in my dream. Shenron who is this? Shenron that is Broly, but he's not the one from your dimension. I'm trying to see his memories, but something is blocking it. I say you should land at least three attacks, and I can try to see his memory. Goku got ready again as Broly tried to attack straight at him, but Goku moved out of the way and went towards him going for a knee, but Broly dodged. Broly went for another punch, but Goku pushed it away and tried another kick to his face, but again Broly ducked and kicked him away. Goku blasted towards him as it created a smoke screen as Broly dodged by flipping away. Goku get out of here now. I'll handle him. Goku dodged many blows as Broly didn't care about anyone but him. The others quickly chased again after Freed and Valper. Goku on the other hand couldn't land a blow on Broly because he was still mostly on the defense and Broly immense speed was dodging almost every blow Goku would try to land. Goku damn he's fast. Shenron quickly if we want to beat him then I need those three attacks. Goku pushed away another attack as he flipped and was able to land a kick on Broly's face. Broly started shooting energy blast with Goku dodging every single one, eventually even pushing one back to himself as the explosion lead all the way to a river in the forest area. Broly was just floating there, getting even more furious, but Goku noticed a big change from him. Goku his power just increased dramatically. Broly die Kakarot. He rushed towards him again, but was met with knee right to his face, as Goku backed away and saw Broly shoot a wave of energy blasts. Goku couldn't move out the way as he blocked most of the attack, but Broly came in with another punch, but Goku dodged as Broly smiled and delivered a strong attack throwing Goku away. Goku recovered as he got right in front of Broly and delivered a punch, but it didn't do any damage, as Goku still smiled as he was able to land the three blows he needed. Shenron alright from what I can see Goku ended now. Goku what is it? Shenron he's gonna get even stronger if this continues so ended now. Goku took this warning and didn't hesitate as he powered up to Super Saiyan and powered up a Kamehameha wave. Broly on the other hand started powering up as well, but it was increasing. Goku Kamehameha. He shot the blast as Broly didn't even try to block or dodge it just hit him straight on and pushed him all the way to a far away mountain as it exploded and Goku powered down not feeling his energy anymore. He soon went towards the others as he could feel they weren't that far, so he started heading their direction. A few hours later Rias and the others found Goku and Minako holding Arena who was knocked out and injured. Goku was bleeding from his head and Minako wasn't in the best shape either. During the chase Freed used Minako as a hostage and tricked Goku into getting cut right in his head, but he was able to grab both and escape. They say Goku. Goku hey damn it. Asia started healing Goku, but he moved her hands to Arena who was in worse condition. Sona took her away, but after she left Freed it arrived with a message of his leader. Freed my boss wants to speak with you. He's here. The sky turned dark as a fallen angel with ten wings appeared something and Goku felt wrong, it was like his power was going out of control. The Kabiel greeting Rhea's Gremory it's great to meet you right in the flesh. Rhea's trust me the pleasure is all mine. The Kabiel explained that he wanted to start another war, even saying that he was bored the whole time after the first great war. However he stopped talking when he saw Goku and his tail. The Kabiel I even see you have a Saiyan monkey with you. What is your name boy? Goku my name is Son Goku and I'm gonna give you one warning. Leave now or pay the consequences. The Kabiel wait you're the Goku, it's surprising seeing you here after all the stories wrote about you. Many have tried living to your name. Goku I don't know what you're talking about. They say now I know why Goku sounded so familiar it's because there are legends of you. How do you not know of them? 
the KBL know something is strange. Normally I would be afraid, but wanting you to fight in the wars will be an amazing treasure and achievement. Okubadi started to tremble in anger, and something was getting to Goku. He was furious at how Kakabiel just wanted war and seeing his friends injured because of Freed's actions and Kiba's past and anger towards them. Kakabiel shot his own light spear as it created a smokescreen and opportunity to escape and something in Goku wanted to explode it, but he calmed it down as everyone went to the school ready for the final battle. Ria's Goku. Goku we can talk about that later, but right now we have to fight. They arrived at the school and Akendo called Lucifer for help and told her that they had an hour. Sona and her peerage created a barrier as Goku entered the barrier and he decided to head towards the powers and something didn't really surprise him. Ria's what's wrong? Goku, TCH. Why am I not surprised? Broly Kakarot. Broly stood there but he wasn't the same. Broly stood there but he wasn't the same. His power, his appearance hell even the presence he gave sent chills to everyone except Goku. Broly Kakarot I'll start the carnage with you. Goku quickly powered up to his maximum and both started their battle and the others tried their best to counterattack against Kakabiel. Ria's everyone let's take this son of a bitch down. Everyone yeah. Broly rushed towards Goku and dodged a punch and countered with an elbow to his face and grabbed his head and threw him to the ground. Goku crashed to the ground and noticed how Kakabiel summoned some hellhounds and had him fight the others. Goku didn't pay much attention to it as he went for a blow to Broly, but it didn't do nothing with him smiling through it. Broly punched Goku again to the ground and slammed his head to the ground. Smiling through it, Goku tried his best to break free of it but nothing. The say Goku? Here. Transfer. He transferred whatever power he had and thanks to that Goku pushed Broly away and powered up even further. Goku ran towards him and Broly ran as well with both trying to push each other and Goku delivered a hard knee to Broly's face but he easily pushed his leg down and lifted Goku up and kicked him away. The Keno Goku no. In the battlefield one hellhound was gonna attack Asia, but Kiba came in and killed it with Zenobia also killing the other hound. Manako and Zenobia rushed towards Broly and slashed their swords, but Broly didn't move. Hell. The attack did nothing however it did get the Saiyan's attention. Broly little worms come to die. Hahaha. Ha, ha. He started to power up a blast and shot it towards them. The blast was huge as both church members closed their eyes waiting for the attack. But nothing the blast never came both girls opened their eyes to see Goku pushing the blast with everything he had. Goku damn you. He tried his best, but it wasn't budging. However Goku looked back and saw the girls and something in him bursted with the thoughts in his head. Goku they won't die today. No way. He released everything he had even more, but for a second the girls saw Goku's hair spike up even more and electricity covering his aura, but it was gone as the blast was pushed to the sky exploding in the dome. Zenobia he stopped it. Both girls then saw Goku power down and fall to the ground due to exhaustion. Manako Goku. Everyone stopped fighting and they saw Goku on the ground. For some reason hope was vanishing for everyone. Broly started walking towards Goku's body and he prepared a blast to finish him off. The Kabeel however shot a blast towards Goku's direction, but Broly just pushed it away as it crashed near the direction of Freed. Freed hey watch it freak you almost hit me. Broly pushed away Minako and Zenobia with a swift of his arm and grabbed Goku by his head and Kakabiel blasted another attack which Broly just grabbed and crushed. Broly who is that guy? Does he want to kill you too? Too bad for him. Because you're mine. Kakabiel you dare insult me monkey. He shot many light spears and Broly started to get irritated and just created a barrier destroying all the spears. Broly got angry and tossed Goku away like if he was a used toy. Throwing him to Issei and the others. Broly I had enough that one belongs to me. Broly charged a Kakabiel and both started to battle each other. Everyone kept on fighting as Freed combined the holy swords and Kiba was able to create a holy demon sword. Asia and Akeno on the other hand were on the ground holding Goku's body. Akeno cried as both girls tried their best to heal him, but it was only doing so little. Freed escaped the grasp of Kiba and rushed towards Asia with a smile and went for a slice. The sword stopped as someone held it back from impact. Everyone looked back and saw Goku up and holding the sword with no effort. He let go with Freed backing away. Freed why don't you just die already? Goku didn't speak as his aura slightly spiked and a giant blue aura covered his body. He then opened his eyes and everyone then saw his eyes. He has the same power when he fought Riser. White Dragon. Goku stood there in silence as Freed kept laughing, not impressed of the power Goku was showing. Freed I'll make sure your blood is stained on this sword when I'm done. He charged at Goku and went for the offensive, but Goku just dodged all of his attacks. Nothing hit him, Goku even started to block the sword's attack with just his finger. Zenobia Goku he's different. Manako ya. I can feel something similar to the holy spirit the holy swords have. But look at him now he's like a new fighter. Ria's this is the second time this happened. The Keno Goku used this power before to save Ria's and now there a huge possibility he will win again. 
Goku grabbed the sword and again the energy surge came, and Goku was still taken aback from the amount of power he felt in his body. Goku mind explaining. Shenron the holy swords have a lot of divine energy that your body is absorbing, and if this keeps up you'll probably reach higher and higher levels, but it can be dangerous because your body has still not been used to this power again, so try not to absorb any more. Goku then closed his eyes as he kicked Freed away. Freed instantly recovered from the kick and flipped away, looking for Goku, only to have his head grabbed and slammed to the ground, with Goku still keeping the same look of calmness. Bikendo then noticed that Broly punched Kakabiel right in his stomach and even grabbed his leg and slammed him to the ground with all his might. Bikabiel crashed onto the ground and Broly smiled and looked at the direction of Goku and flew right towards him. He landed a few feet away from him and smiled maliciously. Broly that takes care of the meddler. Now we can get back to business. Goku didn't speak as he got in his battle stance with Broly powering up even higher than before. Both stood there with their aura intensifying greatly it made the whole planet shake even disturbing the barrier that Sona and her peerage were trying to keep. Then Hell Serzich's and his men were getting ready to leave, but they felt the ground shake, and the intense pressure coming from Goku and Broly was felt by Serzich's. Broly rushed towards Goku and attacked with a hard punch, but Goku easily dodged it and backed away when he saw Broly's leg coming up for a kick. Broly blasted in his direction, and Goku closed his eyes and dodged every blast coming his direction. Broly started to get furious and rushed Goku, but in a blink of an eye, Goku rushed forward and got behind Broly, delivering a hard punch to his rib area, even causing Broly to spit blood and get on his knee. Broly how is he this fast? He wasn't like this before he's changed, but why is it familiar? He turned around to see Goku standing there, but Broly was kicked to the sky, and Goku flew up and grabbed his leg powering up even further. Goku let out a scream and in the blink of an eye, Goku slammed Broly to the floor. A giant wave of smoke covered the entire area, as no one could see what happened, but a figure was walking out. It was Goku and he had a powered down and unconscious Broly right in his arm. He let him down and he looked at Asia, Minako and Akeno. Goku where are the others? The Keno they're fighting Kakabiel Rias and Issei were working together, but she's out of power. We also realized that God is dead. The news was kinda shocking for Goku, but he put no mind to it, he searched the area and saw Rias telling Issei that if he wins the fight, he could do anything to her. Issei you mean I can suck on your titties? Rias if that's what it takes then yes. Issei instantly got a huge power boost as his sacred gear evolved and Goku just got irritated and annoyed. But it is Issei he's talking about. Issei I feel like I can kick God's ass now. Luckily for him he's already dead. No offense. Issei ran towards Kakabiel was able to land a punch on Kakabiel's face. Kakabiel all the red dragon emperor had to do to get this much power is think about sucking on some breast. Goku landed next to Issei, and Issei knew the look Goku was giving. This would not end well for Kakabiel. Issei I would be mad that you cut in, but I'll let you have it. Hey Kakabiel you're about to meet God in the next world. Kakabiel stood up and what he saw would give him nightmares for the rest of his life. Goku powered up pushing Kakabiel to the ground even the others were having trouble standing. Goku you hurt my friends, you hurt so many innocent people and all that for just a stupid war. Trust me when I say this. You're gonna pay for what you've done. Goku rushed forwards and delivered many hard blows to Kakabiel and blasted him away. Goku then noticed how much stronger he was before. Kakabiel noticed he was distracted and rushed towards him, but Goku moved his arms forward and Kakabiel stopped out of nowhere. Kakabiel I I can't move. Goku moved his arm up and Kakabiel also moved in the same direction and he stayed in his position with Goku moving his body down and stayed in a fighting stance as he let out a yell. Faster than light Goku flew towards Kakabiel and landed a devastating blow to his stomach, causing a huge shockwave that was felt somewhere in the universe. Kakabiel was sent flying high in the sky as he spat out so much blood and his eyes went blank. He was knocked out as he reached to the top of the dome, and Goku sensed an incredible power coming as he moved back, and the barrier was destroyed, and a blue flash rushed down and crashed to the ground with Kakabiel being dragged as well. Rias what's going on? The smoke cleared and a man with a white armor as he looked towards Goku as he got in his stance and all the power was being let out and the man just nodded as he grabbed Freed and Kakabiel. Leaving and having everyone confused on why. Why was the white dragon emperor there? Goku looked in the sky as let out a sigh and powered down and got on one knee taking a few breaths. Akeno and Minako quickly ran to him and made sure he was okay. Goku I'm fine just a little tired. I was able to use the power much longer and it felt more in sync with my body. Asia was able to heal Goku, and everyone looked towards Broly's unconscious body. Goku moved towards his body, and Broly slowly started to wake up. He looked at Goku and quickly stood up and got in a battle stance, as he still showed major hatred towards Goku. Goku Broly I don't remember what I did, but I'm I'm sorry. Broly stayed quiet for a few seconds until he dropped from his guard, and he turned around and walked forward, but he looked at the stars. 
Early I was barely a baby, but I remember it clearly. Every time my eyes closed and I rested I could see both of us fighting, and it would always end with me dying. So I thought you were destined to kill me. It was like a projection from the future, that's why I wanted to kill you. Plus the doctors would hear you crying and think you had potential, since it was like a fierce cry and laugh at me for crying because of you crying. I could still hear them insult me, someone who was supposed to be an elite maybe even the next king of the Saiyans. Oku again I'm sorry I never want any bad blood between us. So maybe we can finally create a future where we can be allies. He pulled out his hand for Broly to shake it, and Broly was reluctant, but he eventually took it, and both shook hands. Broly this isn't over. When I'm at my strongest I'll fight and if you die then it's your fault. Goku yeah I figured you didn't want it to end this with just a shake. Broly smiled and both went back to the others, and Goku told everyone that Broly wasn't a threat to them, and he was calm now. Sona I see the school still was messed up. We'll fix it. Rias offered, but Sona disagreed, but Goku noticed Kiba was still feeling down, and Issei stopped him. Issei it's over now. Isn't that enough? For the holy sword and your friends. Besides there's been way too much drama today, so whatever you were gonna say is probably too much for my brain. Goku Kiba. Kiba looked at Goku as all he did was smile and give him a thumbs up. Kiba understood what he meant and smiled. Rias Kiba I'm glad you're home now. Kiba President. I Kiba Yudo promise to protect you and your companions from the house of Gremory. Rias hugged Kiba and all of them looked at Goku. With Rias walking towards him and pulling out the night piece. Rias are you ready to return? Goku no. Sorry Rias but I can't return. I realize that more people could hurt you and if you put boundaries on me it won't work so I'm sorry Rias. My answer is no. Rias was disappointed with the answer but she kinda expected it. However Issei started laughing when Rias told Kiba that he had to be punished with 1000 spankings. Broly well this place isn't boring. Goku laughed with Kiba screaming in pain and trying his best to take the spankings, but to no avail. Goku yeah this is my family. Somewhere in space. My lord it seems we have found him. Yes, whis. After so many years he finally shows up. Out of destruction, it was a nice and sunny day as everyone was back at the school, and Goku and Broly were walking together with Broly more irritated than angry. Broly why do I have to go and wear this stupid uniform? Goku it's not so bad plus it could help you blend in if you wanna keep getting stronger. Broly I hate you so much more. If I had this dream instead of my death I would've killed you a long time ago. Goku haha ha, come on it's not that bad. Broly you can't say you rather fight instead of this. Goku true but I've gotten used to it. Both made it to the orc building and knocked on the door. Rias come in. Goku and Broly walked in and they noticed Zenovia was wearing the school uniform. Goku I see Zenovia is my replacement huh? A good choice. They smiled and Minako also walked in as she agreed to help Rias but not become a devil. Everyone got back to business and went to school, and Broly stayed with Goku most of the time and got irritated for how long the day was going by, but he kept it to himself. Teacher okay now Broly please answer the question. Broly crap I.315. Teacher close but no it's actually 327. Broly damn it. After class some students were talking about Broly and most of the guys were jealous of him since girls really liked him because of his bad boy attitude. Broly I swear if I hear another offer for clubs. Goku smiled confused on why Broly was irritated, but he knew Broly was getting adjusted to the new life. After the school day ended the Issei, Asia, Kaneko and Kiba went to a karaoke bar, and Rias and Akeno went shopping, while Goku helped Zenovia and Broly get comfortable in his house, with Shenron creating more rooms and even having his father's mind slightly altered so he wouldn't question anything. Goku okay Zenovia you can have the room on the left and Broly you can have the room on the right. Broly whatever I'm gonna nap. Call me whenever we get to train. He went into the room and instantly closed himself from the world as he laid down and actually felt comfortable as he instantly started to sleep. Zenovia had a few things and Goku helped by lifting many of the heavy stuff. Zenovia Goku. Goku yeah what's up? Zenovia do you do you regret leaving Rias and her peerage? Goku I had my doubts but in reality no I don't. Sure Akinda sucks in a way but either way I don't think it changes anything you know. I can use my instant transmission to travel with them, and plus I can still be involved with their training and activities. I think the only bad thing are that I no longer get to hang out with my clients, but you can take over for me. Zenovia was a little shocked, but she smiled seeing how Goku did feel bad, but in the end, he was still gonna be there for Rias and the others. She made a decision and she was gonna stick to it. But before she could speak again a knock came from the door as it was Minako. Minako hey Goku sorry to be a bother, but can I stay here? Goku of course we have one room left. Goku helped Minako set up and eventually both Zenovia and Minako went to shop when Rias and Akeno called them. Goku sat in his room as he started working on all the homework he had and even worked on the outside chores he would normally do. Goku few man that was nice. Now I can shower and take a nap. 
Suddenly he got a notification on his phone as he pulled out his phone, and he started to blush when he saw that it was a selfie from Akeno and Rias in their new bikinis. Quickly he put his phone away as he just kept blushing, and he went to the shower, and after a quick shower he fell asleep. The next day Goku woke up a little late, and he walked with Broly to the orc, and he entered hearing Rias mad that Issei's main client was actually the leader of the Fallen Angel. Rias even went on to explain that the leaders were gonna have a meeting soon in the living world. She brushed aside and told them that they needed to have some fun. Everyone then went to the back area and saw the dirty school pool. Issei whoa what the hell. Rias this pool hasn't been used since last year, but luckily once we're done cleaning it, then we can use it for as much as we want. At least just for a little while. Broly nope. Goku Broly. Broly I ain't no cleaning maid bitch so fuck that I'm gonna go train somewhere. Well before anything you both need to come speak to me. Everyone got on the defensive, but they saw nothing not even a sign of who spoke. You shouldn't worry devils, but Goku and Broly should come meet me and trust me you're not gonna wanna ignore this. Goku and Broly looked at each other as they nodded at each other, and Shenron told them where he was. Both flew high and before he left Rias called to them. Rias be careful. The Keno don't take too long. Goku smiled and gave them a thumbs up as both flew to the direction, and they landed in the mountain area as they stood back to back searching for the person who spoke but nothing. They couldn't even sense him. Up here. Both of them looked up and they saw what looked to be a catman. In reality not the strangest thing they've seen. In reality not the strangest thing they've seen. Goku who are you? Shenron Goku show some respect. That is the god of destruction Lord Beerus. Early god of destruction. Shenron one of the most strongest beings in the universe and could easily destroy this planet with just a tap from his foot or his finger. Both of them were shocked at the power being explained to them. Goku sorry Lord Beerus it's just a lot has happened and you can't blame us to not be on guard. Beerus it's fine besides I knew you before you lost your memories and you were a lot more rude before so it's nice to see a different Goku. But I've come for one reason. Goku. Broly. Both of you will be sent to the Dragon Realm earlier than before. Goku Dragon Realm. Broly what is that? Shenron avoid where all the dragons gather and it can help you get stronger much faster. Goku then why the hell have I been training here if I could have been training over there? Shenron because your body wasn't ready. I was gonna wait until you were able to unlock Super Saiyan 3, but luckily your battle against Kakabiel pushed you to unlock Ultra Instinct again. Goku Ultra Instinct. Beerus it's a technique that even the highest gods have difficulty to unlock. It gives off a great aura and it turns your eyes silver. But the power is incredible, the technique allows your body to fight without your thoughts to interrupt your fighting. Broly so that's how he beat me so easily. Shenron yes and thanks to that his body is now able to go back to the dragon realm and possibly he might be able to relearn his old moves again and even learn new ones. Broly you could also increase your power there with him. Broly shit then what are we waiting for? Beerus calm yourself Saiyan. It still needs time so after a few days I will return and that will tell you that you are ready. Goku thank you Lord Beerus. Now I can train without any worries and possibly learn my past much better. Beerus smiled as he flew to the sky and in a flash he was gone. Goku and Broly smiled at each other as Goku used his instant transmission and both made it back just in time as Akeno filled the pool with water. Goku sorry we're late. Rias it's good to see you both are okay. Haneko who or what was that? Broly the god of destruction. Rias wait the god of destruction Beerus. Goku yeah. He only showed up to see my progress and to tell us that we are gonna go to the dragon realm where we both could get incredibly stronger. Akeno, that's amazing. But now we should put that out of our mind and have some fun. Issei and Kiba went in the water as Broly smirked and jumped right in enjoying the water. Goku took off his shirt and before he could go in. He was called by Rias. Rias Goku would you mind putting some sunblock on my back? Goku sure. He grabbed some sunblock and rubbed it all over Rias and Rias would move her body on purpose so Goku would accidentally grab her breast. Goku ah. Oh my gosh I am sorry. Rias it's fine I don't mind if you get a little H-A-N-D-S-Y. Goku blushed but Akeno came out of nowhere and hugged Goku's back as she kissed his cheek. The Keno G OK you you know this weather is making me kinda hot, so how about we go in the water and cool off. Goku was a blushing mess, and he instantly was being pulled by an exposed Rias and Akeno, who tried to fight over him with him barely escaping both of them. Goku girls come on we came to have fun. Akeno but I wanna have my fun with Y-O-U. Rias I got to him first. Goku OK enough. This scared both of them and even stopped Broly and Issei's game. Kaneko, Minako and Asia got a little scared since they rarely see Goku burst out like that. Goku look both of you are amazing, but I don't want your friendship to be torn apart by a small rivalry. Now hug and apologize. Both hugged and Goku walked up to them and gave them both a kiss on the cheek which cheered the girls up and Goku went to leave his phone in his bag. The Keno oh Goku I love it when you take C-O-N-T-R-O-L I want you to destroy me T-O-N-I-G-H-T. -T. Goku put his phone back, but the door opened revealing Zenovia in their swimsuit. Goku oh hey Zenovia where have you been? 
Zenovi I was trying to figure out the swimsuit. What do you think of it? Goku it it looks great. Zenovi Goku I wanted to tell you something. Goku yeah. Zenovi after watching your battle with Kakabiel and living with you for at least a day I have made the decision. That you will be the father of my children. Now let's begin intercourse to make a baby. Goku excuse me. Zenovi after watching your dot. Goku no I heard you what. Zenovi you see a baby with your blood and power combined with my genes we would make an incredible baby. Now we should hurry these do take time to be born. Zenovia removed her bra as she walked forward to Goku, and she pushed him to the floor as she got closer to him, and both were getting close to kiss with Goku more shocked of what she wanted and what she was doing. But luckily the door opened revealing Rias, Akeno and Kaneko. Goku smiled in relief as he grabbed Zenovia's bra and put it back on her. Goku thank goodness you guys made it. I was about to be a father. Akeno oh it seems someone wanted to repopulate. Rias oh my goodness. Everyone made it back to the orc fully dressed in a say, Kiba, Asia and Broly leave tired of all the activities today. Goku okay well that is all the papers in order now you are all set. Rias thank you Goku. Would you mind accompanying Akeno home? Goku sure. Goku and Akeno would leave the orc and the walk was slightly silent. But Goku decided to break the awkward silence. Goku Akeno why didn't you tell me you were half fallen angel? Akeno because I didn't want my past to be brought up and I thought you would have hated me. Goku why would I hate you? You are amazing, strong, kind and beautiful. It doesn't matter what you are I love you the way you are. Akendo blushed intensely as she heard the words Goku said and wanted to tease him, but she did it in a cute way. Akendo so you love me huh? Goku yeah I do. Both got close as they made it to Akendo's house, and Goku just kissed her, and she let him enter with both removing their clothes. Goku picked her up, and both went to the bedroom, and like after the raiding game, both had another amazing night filled with moans and love. Goku I love you Akendo. Akendo and I love you Goku. Both kissed, and they let their slumber take over as both held each other, knowing their relationship just got stronger. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like and share this video. And have a fantastic day bye.